I'm going to do a quick video here at the end of our walk on a Monday morning just to give everybody an amazing report. Days, don't go too far ahead, good, good girl, what a cutie. Mama going to give everybody goodies in a minute. Anyway, the great news is that it was the most harmonious return ever that we had to the pack. And I just, I mean, I want to give people pointers if you're living with multiple dogs. And like I say, that's something I'm going to continue to gather pointers and, of course, knowledge on because I sure don't think I'm out of the woods. Don't get me wrong, but um, it was amazing. First thing that happened was Willow was in the window and she saw Daisy and she was wagging her tail like crazy, which, you know, again, for Willow, anyone that can attest to having two of her puppies come back after they truly left the nest when she was out for death. I mean, I think she was even the male. She was just going to take them out. It was like, you're not welcome. And uh, it was brutal. But anyway, what happened is uh, they, uh, um, you know, they got together perfectly. And what we did is we didn't let them together for a whole hour, though. Even though she was wagging, I let Asher and Daisy drain the energy. And then I barely even, really, I didn't even hardly transition now that Obi's neutered. I don't think I really have to, but I was still going to watch it. But there was nothing weird. Obi sniffed Asher a bunch, but I had Asher throwing the ball, which was another strategy. Just keep them distracted. But then about a half hour after I put the boys in together in the rec room, I came out and they were laying, touching each other, just like the best of buddies. So... It was the most harmonious return ever. And again, so many of the things we have done to work on this that I'll share to help those of you living with multiple dogs first is it's a huge investment for us to have Lexi, even though she's incredibly, amazingly, like I could pay her 10 times more than I do and it would still be a value. But, you know, it's still a big expense. And so to budget for someone to help you out, if you have someone in your family, great. If not, and you can get a pet nanny. I even think if you could get, like, and train a teenager like we used to do when our girls, our human girls, were young. But anyway, that's been really helpful to have two hands around and for both Lexi and me at the same time to be improving our pack leadership skills. I binge watch Caesar. That doesn't hurt. And it's got a new show on D Disney Plus, by the way. But also, here day. Uh, just the continued, you know, assertion of our own kind of leadership is helpful. Days, this way. Daisy, come on. Good girl, come on, come on. Daisy. Ah. Now see, look at this. I'm going to have to stop the video just to go get her. But anyway, and I will, and I'm going to video next weekend because she can't get away with this and I won't let her. Here, Willie. Good girl. Good Willie. Good Willie. I'm going to go get her right now and she's in trouble. Um, and I'll uh, follow through with that because I don't want to call her again because, again, just a moment of teaching here is if you call her, you teach her to ignore you if you just keep calling. Um, so anyway, um, the great news is it worked out great, and I'm going to give you guys a video from next weekend. I got Willie, Daisy, and Asher all on the road for a show, which I was dreading, but now I'm feeling pretty good about it and like another opportunity to train because the energy of Willow and Asher is strong. And just watching Caesar's episode where he cooperated that uh, it is true that um, having litter mates like Willow and Asher, they can cause extra aggression against other dogs. So that made me feel like I wasn't alone in that. All right, I'm going to go get Daisy, you guys. All right, take it easy. I'll share more pointers another time. This wasn't what I quite hoped because she's being so naughty. <laughs>